GoPro, start recording. Well, I'm back with my lovely little ornamental cherry. And as you can see, it is absolutely amazing. Its roots have really Heron Bonsai on YouTube. I realized I, I am not doing this wiring at all right. Um, the curves are, are perfectly fine, but actually the wire is supposed to go around the branches a lot more. GoPro, start recording. Well, here's a lovely little rosemary that I started with, and it is looking pretty good. It's growing new leaves and uh, all the time. It looks nice and healthy. The problem I have with this rosemary is that this soil is so light that when I put it outside, it, it's constantly drying out. It is, it is terrible how fast this dries out. I am going to have to change the soil before winter, but to do that, I actually need to get a bonsai pot for it and then decide what kind of bonsai soil I'm going to use in it. Hello. Today I'm going to do a how-to video and I'm going to show you guys how we make the future urban farmer videos. Um, there's nothing overly complex in here, uh, but I'll show you the software that I use and I'll show you how I piece the, the videos together uh, after we take them off the GoPro. Okay, so we'll start with the files. And here we have them uh, in our file manager and I have a folder created called Bonsai Diaries because today I'm going to be working on a Bonsai Diaries uh, video and these are the videos I've taken and renamed and ordered off the GoPro. I will do another video in the future uh, to show you why I, I renamed them um, and order them. The naming system on the GoPro is actually quite confusing. Um, it's fine once you get to know it but when you first buy a GoPro it can be can be a bit messy. Uh, apart from that it's actually a great little camera, works great for us, the voice controls are amazing to, to stop and start. Uh, we love it. Okay so I have my files here and the next thing we want to do is open up our uh, video editing software. And as you can see I'm not running Windows, I'm running Linux, Manjaro Linux. And the video editing software I'm going to use, because I'm using the Plasma desktop, uh, is Caden Alive. Oh, here we go. So the first thing we, we have to do is add our video files that I just showed you. So we go up here to Project, add Clip, our folder. And we're in the Future Urban Farmer uh, folder at the moment, so we go back out to Videos, and we'll see Bonsai Diaries. So we just expand that and in the case of these particular videos there's two types of videos. There's the GoPro footage which are um, numbered 1 through 8 so I'm going to import those first. see them loading up. Now the reason why I want to bring these ones in first is that Caden Live automatically detects the resolution and it'll ask me if I want to switch uh, to that resolution. So yes, we'll switch. It's just loading up the videos. There we go. And now I will add the remaining files that I want to use for this project. Uh, these two were recorded on my phone. So these th the difference is uh, in resolution. These are 2K, the 1 to 8, and the GoPro, because that's the GoPro can do 4K, but I prefer to edit in 2K. Uh, but for the purposes of um, this particular video, uh, these two files which I'm going to actually put in 
to the intro of the video that I'm recording right now, uh, they're actually 4K. So we don't need those for, for uh, this project. Okay, oh yeah. What we do need is to go back into Future Urban Farmer. And we're, you, we're doing uh, Bonsai Diaries, so I already have an intro made. So we have Bonsai Diaries intro, Bonsai Diaries outro, and the Bonsai Diaries transition. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now that we have our videos, we can actually get to work on piecing them all together. So this will be the intro video. I want the the, the very beginning to be black, so I just I don't put the video right there. I always like it to fade in just a little bit. And to get it to fade, we just, in Caden Live, you just mouse up to the corner and you left click on this little button up here and you just drag it in and this is your fade in and out. Uh, and it's really simple, like it's uh, how long you you want the fade in to, to be. And the same goes with the audio track, which is down here. Now up here, on the right, top right, we have our little preview window. And a lot of people uh, give out about Caden Live saying, oh, it's all herky-jerky when I started. That's because you uh, you can set the resolution of the preview video. And if you have it obviously in a much higher resolution and you don't have the memory or the CPU power, it's, it's gonna be herky-jerky. So I have mine turned down to 270p. And it works perfectly because I mean, look at it. It's a tiny little window. I don't need it to be any bigger th uh, than that. I'm not doing anything really, really fancy with this. This is all very basic stuff. So we can test uh, the clip I just put in. Well, I'm back with my lovely little ornamental cherry. And as you can see, it is absolutely amazing. Its roots have really have really appreciated the pot that I chose for it for now its leaves now that's our intro it's looking good so now I need to decide well, where I want the break to put in the, the nice little animation that we use at the beginning of our videos so I've got to choose a nice spot normally not too far into well, the video I'm back with my lovely little ornamental cherry and I as you can see, it is absolutely amazing. I think that's a good uh, spot. So we'll we right click on the track and we cut clip. And then this part of it, we can just drag over to make room uh, for the intro. And we have Bonsai Diaries intro. We'll just slap that right on and move the, the second part of the video back in so everything is all nice and tight together well I'm back with my lovely little ornamental cherry and as you can see it is absolutely amazing <laughs> There's our intro. Its roots have really, have really appreciated the pot that I chose for it for now. Its leaves are, are a lovely color and they're growing new leaves all the time. Now, it should come as no surprise to anybody. And your tracks, as you that, can see, will automatically uh, move along. In wiring up, they'll scroll so along Jerry, as you're watching the preview I did video. It wrong. <laughs> I've been looking at some of Peter Chan's work uh, from Heron Bonsai on YouTube, and realized I I am not doing this wiring at all right. So uh, the at the moment I'm are, looking for any fine, areas that I might like to cut. Wires supposed to go around the branches. It might be mistakes or, or whatever. In Peter Chan's own words, wire everything. Uh, 
the wire I chose is really easy to work with. I actually Look really love making these videos. Look at this in just the short amount of time. This is less than a it month. It is a lot of fun. Less L than the time a month. consuming, but and it's look, it's these branches are it's a fun thing to do. holding their shape. This floors me. I didn't think it would happen this fast, and it did. I can sit with my little plants and their little pots. And you'll find it a lot yes. of this editing work. This is what you're going to be doing. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. This is exactly You're just going to be the watching the video back, just making sure everything is correct. I wanted to see. It's already happened. Until it gets to the point where you look actually want to cut. A, um, crick in its neck. That's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Okay, so we got to the end of the first clip, uh, track number one, or clip number one. And so, clip number two, and this is the thing that I was saying about the, the GoPro. The GoPro, as you're recording, actually breaks up the video, which is a little strange to me, but that's what it does. So, um, the first half of these clips, I think it's like the first four, are actually one video that the GoPro has sliced up. So in that case, we don't actually want to put in a transition here. We want it to just smoothly um, clip onto the end. So we just grab the clip up here by left mouse clicking and dragging it down to the track. We don't want a gap here in it because it'll go black, so we just slide it right in against uh, the end of the first video. And you can see the way the audio tracks join up perfectly. Uh, what I need to do now that's the editor that stops for a second while it loads in the second video. The rendered, final rendered video, Round. that will be perfectly smooth, so don't worry about that. The whole branch. Ah, it doesn't, it wants to. Ah, dude, it's a lot better. Come on. Again, if you get any little stops or starts, that's just the video editor as it loads in new data. Don't worry about that. It will be perfect in the final rendering. And we can see the time of these two videos, the first two, adds up there. to about 10 minutes. The intro is about 10 to 15 seconds, 10 Let's seconds, I think. Right here, make sure I don't have any in the way. So we can see where we are on the track. Now, now that the wire is all the way around the branch, instead of having to connect the wire, I can just move the wire So we've just uh, gone over the 10 minute mark sort of. on the video. But it's so we should be coming so up to the end time. of track number two now. I don't risk yeah, here we go. Again, it just stops abruptly because the GoPro breaks the video up. And that's fine. So track number three is actually part of the same track. So again, we don't want to we don't want to transition here. So we'll just slide it right up against it. Wanna risk it. And again, this herky jerkiness is just the editor loading the video in. And remember, I'm also using system resources to actually record. Uh, the how-to video at the same time as editing right. the Banzai now. Diaries video. I really do like Caden Live. It is, it, it's actually fairly rich in features for um, for a basic uh, what's considered a basic video editor, um, but it's it just jo nice. does the job really well, and oh, it's completely free. Much better. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that so much better. It's it's really a 
when you don't know what you're doing, it's a process. And for the purposes of this error. video, dealing with this. Um, the the preview video up here is audio might appear to be low it's actually not in my ears as i'm editing it's perfectly loud but i've turned it down in in the software i'm using to record so you guys can actually hear me speaking just in case you're wondering and now i'm going to let this i'm going to just let this live for a little while there we go on the final one track four or clip four uh is only 25 seconds long so the gopro for some reason decided uh, that was a good place to cut it so that's fine again there's no problem with the gopro that's just how it does it so this is good for this one and then i will start on the rosemary next gopro stop recording and there we have it that's the first half of the video and obviously we don't want to have GoPro stop recording um, in the video so GoPro she left in a little bit of silence which is good because we, we want that for our transition this little bit here but the GoPro stop recording gets cut so we just right click we click cut clip and then we highlight this end piece here which is now separate we right click and we click delete selected item there gone now where we are transitioning to a new video and to do that i've made a nice little transition uh, picture here so we'll left click on that left and click and hold and we'll drag it down and as you, I'm not going to just slide it onto the end there because I want to transition here. So I'll put it, you know, maybe, what would that be, a third of an inch or something like that uh, over the, the video track. And then on the top track, this purple, it's not the, the, the light blue one is for fade in and out. You'll see the little purple button up here. Up here. We click that. This wipe uh, or this transition box will appear joining the two videos together. Now over here on the right we've got the effects and composition stack and we want wipe method. So at the moment on the standard future urban farmer videos I use dissolve, right? None, so it just dissolves into it. And I'll, I'll give you a look in the little preview and what that looks on like. The rosemary next. And there we have a dissolve. But um, just to fancy things up a little bit for Banzai Diaries I thought I'd use something different and you have a whole bunch of them in here to choose from so the one that I use for Banzai Diaries is called uh, Cloud so we'll click on that we left click on it so it's selected here in wipe method now this purple box is the cloud transition and you can see this in up here in the little preview window Mary next there we go there's the nice um next. nice transition okay no i think if have i forgotten something here i have you know what i've forgotten there's also a little audio track that goes with this so we will quickly add that in uh and where is it it's called japan sunrise there we go so as this transition is going on we don't want it to be silent we want that nice little audio track that we use in the intro so I'll, uh, again left click on it up here drag it down and put it in here This audio, bottom, bottom audio here, can have a little fade out. Not there's anything there anyway, but just in case. And now, in the preview window, let's see that transition again. Very next. Perfect. So as you can see, 
the um, tr transition audio track is a, a bit longer than uh, uh, than the image so we just move to the end of the image and we'll drag that across and we leave a space actually no we'll go all the way to the end no we'll leave a space at the end because otherwise it'll be completely silent now of course we want to transition into the new video at the other end and the new video is track number five i believe the, yep and we can see it down here four so we want five so we want to drag that in here and again about like about a quarter of an inch and we're going to click this little purple button here to put in our wipe and we want to change the wipe to cloud in wipe method on the right hand side so now let's check that out and we go into the new video and that's our transition done Perfect. And it's so easy to do. Well, it's not, love a little rosemary not complex. That I started with and it is looking pretty good. It doesn't seem to add to it. And I can see by looking up here again, um, ah, clip not strong enough. five, six, seven are all part of the same video that was sliced up by the GoPro. So um, we won't be needing transitions um, between five, six, six, seven. Maybe for the holidays. So I think and I have, this one's probably going you to know, be. obviously cut up and shortened this how-to video. Yep. However, um, you can see, like, you, I mean, you have to watch it when you're actually editing. You have to watch the whole Ooh. video in real time. So. It, it can be time uh, consuming. It's actually starting to take shape already, isn't it? But it's, it's still very out. satisfying oh. to do. This. And I really enjoy it. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, if I wire this, there we go. This. I'm going in the wrong direction. And the whole editing process is go. nowhere now near as complicated as some Maybe. people think it is. Or at least it doesn't have to be. Not for just basic yeah, uh, I YouTube videos. Rid of this middle one too. And we're coming to the end of this mm. first clip. There we go. So that was clip number five. We can see it down here on the track. Uh, now again, we drag this one down. And because it's part of the same video, we just want to stick it onto the end make sure it's nice and tight up against the uh, uh, clip five mm. and there we go the end of this wire. crazy i'm more concerned with the shape of and we can see that we're up to 23 minutes that's the length of the video right now we have a bit to go I fell in love with Caden Live as a video editor uh, a few years back. I've I've used many different video editors over the years, but uh, I've really stuck with Caden Live over the last probably it is too five bad years. That, uh, I don't have any real uh, bonsai teachers close to me. When you just want to get the job done fast and smoothly, it just works. To show them so they can correct me on some of my mistakes YouTube being a great equalizer should have about a minute left in this clip and then we'll drag clip number seven down Alexa stop please no <laughs> Uh, Madam A, uh, as we like to call our our, uh, our Amazon smart speaker, <laughs> uh, 
jumped in there because we were actually cooking barbecue while um, while Linda was recording the Bonsai Diaries and I'm not sure, sure what that massive loud noise just was but anyway <laughs> uh, Madame May decided the alarm was going to go off because obviously we had set it and we don't want that in our video so that's why you have to watch you can't just skip ahead when you're doing video editing you have to actually watch it just to, to catch all those little things so let's watch that one more time there's madame Alexa, stop please right so we want to cut this th that that bit out so where do we want to cut it Hmm? We want to cut it just before the alarm goes off. So right there, you can see the alarm here in the audio track. So we want to cut that there. And we'll watch along to see where we want Next, to uh, cut stop, again. Please. Right. And we're going to have to cut that out and just... <laughs> right, so it goes right to the end of the video. That's perfect. Uh, we right click here, delete selected. And that was track six, or clip, clip number six, so we want clip number seven. Put that on the end here. And there will be a little bit at the beginning of this and that we want to take out. Right. Just in case... Uh, uh everybody's madam a goes absolutely insane and it would if we left it in all your smart speakers would go off all your amazon ones anyway so this little bit with uh, linda talking at the beginning explaining what happened we want that out i think that's it so we can uh, cut that out right click delete and it'll just jump now nicely. There we go. Perfect. I could put this in, put in a dissolve there, but don't really need to. And clip number seven is slightly shorter at three and a half minutes. So it should bring us up to about the 30, 31 minute mark. Is now the wind blown rosemary? GoPro, stop recording. Okay. So obviously we want to take out the GoPro, uh, stop recording at the end there. Mary. We're going to have a transition, so I, le I left a little bit at the end. Cut that, and we will delete. No, I think I have forgotten something important which is that this is Bonsai Diaries and at the beginning, unlike Future Urban Farmer, I do like to transition the intro. Instead of just going straight into it like there, I like to use that effect. So what we'll do is we'll grab the intro video and again about a quarter quarter of an inch in um, you click the little purple button and we will put in our cloud effect now oh, let's see absolutely amazing okay I want to adjust that slightly so we'll take that out by right clicking and deleting and I'm going to shorten that just slightly again we'll make it the cloud under white method amazing perfect on the other side we will do the same mouse over the the top clip is always the top clip click the purple button I'll bring up this menu on the, the right hand side. Wipe method uh, cloud. Okay.
This is an easy mistake to make. Really but that's a lovely transition for the intro. The so now that that's fixed, we have to quickly go along the video. No, well, not too quickly, because we want to be able to see where the joinings are, because we have made alterations. There we go. Let's make sure everything is rejoined up again. It's actually good that that happened, because that's quite a common mistake to make, and I get to show you guys how to fix it. Let's make sure all the videos are dragged together. Always drag from the right on to the left. Again, there we go. Now these ones are, are out, so we can just quickly do it. The great thing about Kate and Live is like the actual effect here, you can just drop and drag it. Then we drag the video over there, the audio track, line it up. Again, drag the effect over, and it it it, it uh, snaps into place, which is really good. Really, really good. It's a lovely feature of Kate and Live. Very nice. Well, here's a lot of little okay I think we've got one or two more to do uh, because we've dragged all the videos back yep there we go just join that one up join that one up and is that the last one it is okay so now we're back to where we were and we want to transition into, into the, the final clip of this video uh, which is Linda showing off the the bonsai seeds that that she planted so we want to drag track number eight down there and we want again our transition so about a quarter of an inch there we also want to drag down um, the audio track that goes along with it. We'll add in the, the cloud um, wipe. There we go. I want to make sure to, to mouse over the very end of the, this is a, a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, and we mouse over the end and then we click the left mouse button hold and drag across to where we want it to be which is about there because it is just there's nothing in that audio at the end and we drag our final track across our final clip again about a quarter of an inch uh, mouse over until you see the little purple button click that brings up wipe the wipe effect click over here on wipe method and again we want cloud now let's see how that looks. Lone Rosemary. Perfect. There's our transition. So on the seedling front, I have some successes. Here's the Norway spruce. GoPro, stop recording. There we go. Now this is the end of the video. Obviously we... Uh, we want to cut out the, the GoPro stop recording, so go to where she finishes it up. Just to be sure. That's perfect. Leave a little bit of space at the end. Uh, cut the, the last bit off. Delete it. And we drag down Bonsai Diaries outro. Again, about a quarter of an inch in there. Add in the wipe and make it cloud now let's see to be sure perfect there we go uh, the latest bonsai diaries is ready to be rendered and uploaded to youtube 
Now I just have to uh, very very quickly here uh, check on YouTube to see what number that was. I believe it was number four. It was okay. So that was uh, Bonsai Diaries four. So we have our video all completed. In our video editor, we go up to the top. We click Project. We come down to render and it's already selected here um, mp4 h265 uh, this is the one that we want to use uh, because that's for high definition we don't have we're not working quite with 4k but we're working with 2k on this video um, the quality we want to tick that box and we want to make sure it's on 100 percent over here uh, the threads being used, we, my CPU is um, a Ryzen 3700X, so I've got 16 threads. I'm going to use all of them uh, so that the video is done uh, a little bit faster. No, Caden Live is experimenting with hardware acceleration or hardware rendering. Um, but it's experimental right now, so I, uh, I'm not too keen to use it at this moment in time. So I'm happy with MP4 uh, using the CPU. Okay, so that's everything done here. Oh, we have to name it, so we'll just quickly select the untitled. Uh, and we'll name it. Bonsai Diaries for and my caps lock is on there for some bizarre reason. So we'll try that again. Bonsai Diaries four. There we go. And then you simply click render to file down here. Everything else is looking good. Yep, render to file. And there it goes. Caden Live takes care of everything else. Caden Live will now piece everything together. And and you will have in normally takes about an hour and a half. The, that all depends on what kind of computer you have. Um, and then we'll have the latest episode. And then I will upload it to YouTube and it'll be ready to go. And you guys will have already watched that because this video how to is going to come out afterwards okay guys um i hope that's helpful i just wanted to make a video we we decided to to just do a how-to video just to show people how easy it really is to to make these videos so you guys might kind of you know start doing your own gardening and, and farming videos thanks for watching mm -hmm.